Hi, my name is Stuart Lynch, and for the first time, I'm creating a paid course on Swift and Swift UI app development. But the charge is only going to be $30, so I thought that I'd put together this little video to show you what the course is going to cover, and if you're so inclined, you might want to save your pennies. Now, the app's a multi-targeted app, and it starts with a Mac menu bar app. You'll learn how to fetch and present data from a free jokes API that has a lot of configurable options, like choosing a different language or a category. And each refresh will get you a new joke. You can even specify blacklisting on the type of jokes that you want to forbid. And when you update this selection, you'll be using Swift Data and CloudKit to share your choices across all of the different targets. And you can even specify that you want the app to launch at login. Throughout this course, you'll be introduced to a variety of frameworks where you can choose how and to whom you wish to share that joke. The iPhone Target has some additional features, but both the Mac and iPhone Target support both light and dark mode. My personal preference is dark mode. We'll be sharing a lot of the code used between the different targets to reduce duplication. One additional feature the iOS app has is the ability to translate the joke from one language to another using the translation framework. The ability to change the languages of the joke is still there, but you may want to get translations to your own language. And of course, you can choose to get jokes from a specific category. Now, as I mentioned, in the Mac app, the settings carry across to all targets. The Jokes API has over 1,300 jokes across six different languages in a mixture of safe and unsafe jokes, which are all determined by your blacklist settings. So we can use another API endpoint to plot these using the graphs framework. Of course, an iPhone app isn't an app if it doesn't have its own widget. And you can choose between a medium or a large size widget and those jokes will get refreshed continually over time. The blacklisted settings are all adhered to, but you can also long press on the widget to edit it to choose perhaps a different category or language. And you can even choose to add a colored background to your widget that will be using the new mesh gradient. We'll handle routing so that tapping on the widget will open the iPhone app directly from here so that you'll be able to share that joke with your friends with, say, the Messages app. And this uses yet again another endpoint of the API to make that request. Adding a watch app is surprisingly easy. So let me enable the watch sharing on my iPhone to show you what my Apple Watch here looks like when I have the app installed. I can tap on the Launch Complication widget to launch the app, and you'll see that you have many of the same options that you have in the Mac and the iPhone apps. You can refresh the joke, and you can also tap on the Settings button to select a different language or a category. Or you can even update your blacklist. Again, that change will be updated in the iCloud for all of your targets. In macOS now, you can add iOS widgets directly to your home screen. So here, I'm going to choose a medium-sized widget for my Smile For Me app. Editing the widget gives me the same options that I had on the iPhone, including changing the background. When I tap on the joke, it uses iPhone mirroring to present my iPhone here on my Mac and if it's locked, I can view that joke directly on the iPhone app, just like we did when we tapped on the iPhone widget. Now, if you don't like the medium size widget, you can change it to a large one directly here. And of course, you can change the language and the category. 
I've got lots of stuff to cover. I'll be starting the creation of the videos for this series, so start following me on Macedon, X, Threads, or Blue Sky, where I'll be posting updates. Don't worry though, I'm still going to be releasing my weekly videos on YouTube, but in the meantime, I hope you save your pennies and have a smile for me in the new year.